Welcome to Glacier Adventure. We are here in Iceland. We're about, I don't know, a few miles down the road from the Glacier Lagoon. And we have connected with Glacier Adventure to do a ice cave trip. Yeah, it's gonna be very awesome. Pretty epic. We're gonna bring you along <laughs> for the whole process, see how we get there, what gear we need, how to do it with kids, including a three-year-old. Okay, let's get inside, we'll get settled and uh, I'll catch you up once we get some more details. All right, so just getting in, getting oriented. They do have a variety of gear that you can rent. So they have um, like a proper baby. You don't want your jacket on? They do have a proper like baby backpack holder that we could use. I think we're gonna go with our Ergo because sometimes Forrest doesn't do great in these. But they also have gear. They've got all these like boots that you can rent. They've got gear you can you know, for purchase. So just a variety of stuff uh, available to you here out of the Outfitter office supply store here. Uh, very easy to do, no problems. All right, and are you our guide today? I will, yes. Awesome, Mike, right, thanks so much, appreciate yeah, it. All righty. All right, so we'll just sit down. I'm sure we'll have some sort of orientation to go through here. Oh yeah, sign, yeah, no problem. It doesn't count if I don't sign. Okay. Thank right, you very much. All righty. Cool. Yeah. All right, so Mike was just telling us that uh, basically we have about an hour drive out to the parking lot. Then it's a 2K hike from the kind of the Jeep vehicle to the cave. Uh, he said it's the most popular cave in Iceland, so there might be other groups there, but all the groups and companies really support each other to give everyone like their kind of their turn to get like the good photos. So we are going to get micro spikes now, just like they're little, they're not quite proper like crampons like for mountaineering, but they're like the little mi micro spikes. Let's go check that out. Yeah, you're right on that, right on the edge there. Okay, yeah. Here you go. Great, wow. all right. Excellent, I'll just get smaller ones for the kids. Okay, so you got the... We've got the micro spikes here and these uh we said just to hold till we get to the cave so hopefully we'll see what the we'll see what the walk up's all about all right looks cool and just rubberized metal spikes and he said he has smaller ones for granite and cedar at again age nine and seven forest is pretty much going to be uh in the baby backpack the ergo while we uh do this little adventure oh he wants to play you want to play with the spikes yeah good times there like jingle bells all right, so Mike is our guide. He just pulled the van around, and it is quite the van. Old school, like 12 passenger vans, but big fat tires. Oh, what about right, thank you. Take a Thanks, Mike. Oh, thank you. Looks good. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. What a ride. Look at the tires on this beast. That is awesome. You got a big set of tires. All right, so loading up. Okay, I'll help with Forrest. Come here, Forrest. Dad's gonna pick you up, babe. All right. Kids, you come last. Maybe all the way to the back, huh? All right. Uh, watch your head. Here we go. Okay. Woo. All right, Cedar, you guys get the whole back row to yourself. Okay, easy enough. We'll get settled and be on our way. This place we're walking on was much further forward as were all the outlets. Now, this so they're passing another van again. Mike said that this was the most popular ice cave in the region. And he's given us really a, a good history and understanding of how the ice cave was created. So we'll yeah, kind of share like, some of that information uh, on the hike yet. But these roads are just real bumpy. I mean, Bill, well, apparently all this used to be glacier. Yeah. And it's yeah. all receded back to where it is. It's uh, the glacial moraine. The glacier so, right moraine. Yeah, the, the moraine is the rocks and the land that gets pushed up when the glacier is really big. Or, yeah, bigger. And then when it recedes, right, it drops continue. all this so we had a pushed up rock. All right, wow. We got okay. Keep going. All right, so another uh, fun fact we just learned from our guide, Mike, is that this glacier, estimated like 5,000 years ago, 
was as tall as that mountain. So all, like, all of this would just be like a huge mountain wall. So it's receded all that way. And when it was as tall as that mountain, it actually extended all the way into the ocean. So I don't know how far that is from here, but like, I, you know, it's beyond viewpoint. So a long, long, long way. That's pretty great. We're so close now. Tours like this i think give you an opportunity to uh, meet some pretty cool people so in our group we have a newlywed couple uh, another guy is a uh, like a stem cell researcher and just kind of a cool eclectic group of people and so jumping into a tour if you're ever hesitant about that we've always enjoyed the tour experience uh, this is great just from even out here you can already hear that water howling so to get that blue ice it's really a combination of sun thinness of the ice but it's looking pretty great it actually it's probably dark uh, in there but there's a lot of cool cool spots that we're gonna get to check out oh i do see a few other groups so there are uh, you know with those cars in the parking lot there are a few groups and this might be where mike was talking about everyone kind of spreads out and gives each other time to uh, get their own individual in our photos All right, officially time to get the ice bikes on. So you've got the uh, kind of the three piece up front, it goes over the shoe. This little metal bar is a cross. Voila, they're on. Uh, spikes down. Spikes down. That one's on. I'm putting spikes on here. All right, we're entering, of course, the cave. Wow, and those blue colors really pop. Woo, blue ice indeed. You can see us all of that glacier melt. Those blue colors are magical. Look at all that water just flowing, I mean, literally melting before our eyes. Like I was saying, that this whole cavern is just kind of months away from just total collapse. We'll see, but it is beautiful to see. So an interesting component Mike was just sharing with us is the fact that all the ash is just, all the volcanic ash is compressed in the ice. And you can even see like compressed air pockets, you know, things like that. And the air's just right on the ice, kind of muddy. And he was saying that a lot of times when people come here in the summer, they're a bit disappointed because of it's just all black, all this ash is everywhere. So to come in the winter, uh, somehow it produces better colors. So, you know, interesting point of information coming in the winter to see all this blue ice, this glacier ice is better than in the summer. And it is really a pretty sight. And this cave is just beautiful. I mean, all the rippling ice is really great to see. And here's a whole nother group. So you're probably talking about 20, 25 people kind of all working their way through the cave. And they are spreading out. So we were kind of in section one. This is section two here with this entryway. This must have been the second little entryway that we saw coming in. But just the perspective from this angle is really pretty. It, it looks so blue. It really does. It's really, really blue. I hope the GoPro can bring that out. Hey, right. Mike, how long have you said you've been coming out here? Uh, so I've been here about five and a half years guiding. 
Um, and it's been now about a thousand tours. Oh man, glaciers, that's... yeah, scalped a thousand other places. Are you noticing a big difference in the ice over these last five years? Like, is it for, through your eyes very different? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's for me. Like in the summer, as I said in the car, I walk on the glacier further every single day. Like literally every day, I see like centimeters go. That's incredible. Um, and then per year, we're getting about 120. And I could physically see it because what you're under now will be gone next season. <laughs> like totally gone. Wow. There'll be no ice here at all. Wow. So. That's, uh, it's incredible, the, the rate of recession. It's exactly. baseball, yeah, it's so yeah. sad. So I was talking with Mike about uh, the children on the trail and if they do small kids like this regularly. And uh, you know, he said, it just it really depends. It really depends on the temperament of the child. It was certainly a far walk. Had we not had that carrier, that's just the baby Argo, there's no way we would have been able to uh, to come out here with him. So certainly a carrier's a must. And he's, he's kind of squirming a teeny bit right now, but we're almost through. We're gonna wrap back around to the other side and uh, take some more of those photos. When you're ready, we could go to the inner part of the cave as well. All right, so we're transferring now to sort of the inner portion of the cave, back through where we just were. Kind of this section two area, as they call it. And underneath us is actually all ice. So we're in a full circle of ice. This is all ice underneath these rocks. It looks like another group is showing up. So we've got kind of a, I wouldn't call it a traffic jam, but there's certainly noticeably more people than when we first got here. Oh yeah, even more groups up here. Just learning about the fracture lines of this cave. So, and if you're asking how do we make it safe, we chop down the ceiling often, like it's on the floor right there. We're gonna chop down this entire arch right there in maybe a week. Because if you go wow. close, you'll see, I'll show you the crack. Like this is gonna come down. So he's just saying that the uh, maintainers here, these guides actually have to cut some of the ice themselves, like all these pieces here. So if you look at this crack them. here, this crack goes from there oh, all the way to the top and it separates this piece from the main piece. Yeah, so here's this so big what crack he's talking out, about. We have to break this piece down. So we'll be on top with these big kind of spikes and just pound them into the ice, create a fracture line and it falls. Just like this does. So that's, that's pretty why, fascinating. Like, this, it requires a fair amount of maintenance in order to keep people in. Because you have to be worried. You, you don't yeah. see this stuff. Nobody knows what they're looking for in the fracture points in the ceiling. <laughs> But if this melts out and this is hanging, look how much the, the distribution of weight would be very off if that was gone. There's way too much weight hanging down. So this has to be released. Here's another example instead of where they had to come in and do some maintenance. All right, but heading in now to the pretty blue section. Uh, this is really the most blue section of the cave, I would say, kind of to the right of the entrance. Very, very, very pretty, very blue. So interesting facts about this black cave behind us, all kind of into the darkness here. There's a group going in there. Michael's telling us that he thinks that this will be basically next year's cave. So while all of this is just collapsing, it just pushes further and further back in. So that's, uh, you know, something to think about the, two point, the 2K that we had to walk to get in, what next year's group will have to do. And, five years out what that group will have to do so it's always just this shifting ice so i guess you know as sad as it is i feel very thankful that we're here now and that you know potentially if weather keeps warming um as projected by some science um some scientists you know this whole shell will be totally dead totally gone and won't be growing anymore in their lifetime so you know we hope that that doesn't happen Everyone has that blue ice to see for years to come. But all right, we've spent about, what do you say, Kelly, about an hour? Yeah, I'd say yeah. about an hour. So we were in the cave for about an hour and it was great. It was a lot of fun to see that. Uh, fairly thankful that we got to do this. Again, as it, it melts, as Mike was saying, uh, yeah. trying to see it as we can. Yeah, this is awesome. And we won't, this, won't have, this won't exist next season, so. Yeah, just this whole portion will be gone. They're gonna split that off this like next week or so so it's all going to be totally different uh as days weeks seasons pass